Never seen a product like this. I actually really, really enjoy it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review or a big review on this big Shotgun 5X by the house of VPX. Now, you may have not heard of VPX, but you've probably heard of Bang Energy. VPX created Bang Energy. Before, they were kind of notorious for their Redline Energy drinks, which are also insanely strong. It's very rare that I'll come across a product that I truly have not seen before that tries to cover all of these bases into one and actually kind of does it. Now I had seen products that were pre-workout and intra-workout or post-workout, you know, they combined a little bit or, you know, you put some branch chain amino acids in your pre-workout, which is gonna help you, you know, heal those muscles in the middle and the post-workout. There has been stuff like this before, but I have never come across a product like this. It's pretty much like an all-in-one pre-workout, intra-workout, and post-workout. Now, technically you could probably get a higher dose of protein than what's in here. It only has about close to 10 grams, between nine and a half and 10 grams of protein, but it's got a lot of different kinds of protein. It's got a lot of different amino acids. It's got a lot of BCAAs. It's got a lot of added glutamine. And then on top of that, it has whey protein isolate and then also casein protein isolate. So whey protein digests in about 45 minutes. You get it like that. Casein digests a little bit slower. So it's, you're gonna get that protein over a longer period of time. And then they also have different amino acid profiles too. So um, um, you know, eat protein is made up of a bunch of amino acids. Each kind of protein has different amino acids. So when you mix them, you get a more balanced profile. So just a very, very good once over as far as protein. Now it's got this pump matrix. Again, I'm probably gonna try to put this, uh, put the supplement facts on screen so you can follow along with me. A lot of these ingredients are kind of like two supplements blended together and I haven't really researched it. It's got a lot of unique ingredients that I have not studied. So I'm just gonna give you my basic understanding of what I what it is or what I think it is. And uh, so we start off with creatine glucoconate, creatine taurinate, and creatine monohydrate. So basically three kinds of creatine apparently creatine is just overall good for you it's supposed to increase uh, your muscle strength naturally and it has a lot of other health benefits uh, people used to say that it just stores water in your muscles so it's like it's gonna give you this fake pump and then once you stop taking creatine, it's gonna go away. But since then, it seems to be like one of the absolute best things that you could add to your workout and people add it to usually about five grams. We don't know how much is in here because it's kind of a proprietary blend, but you have three different kinds, so I would expect it to be pretty good. Citrulline malate, now that's like one of the most notorious pump boosters. I think L-citrulline is probably a little bit more potent but uh, L-citrulline malate is going to probably help with digestion a little bit better. It's just L-citrulline mixed with malic acid. And malic acid helps settle your stomach quite a bit. Yeah, and we got this thing called uh, BPOV. I don't know what that is. Biz Cocolonito Oxo Vanadium. I've heard of vanadium. And I think vanadium is supposed to be really good. But I've never heard of this one. Um, arginine L-malate. So arginine and citrulline are very, very similar. L-citrulline is a metabolite of arginine, but when you take a lot of L-citrulline, it puts more arginine in your blood versus if you just take arginine. So it's like a back door to get arginine, but they have both different kinds in here. MTB pump, I don't know what that is, but it has magnesium, which I like magnesium. Creatinol O-phosphate, I think that has more creatine in it. I don't know, maybe I'll put it on screen. Gamma butyrate, I don't know what this one is either. The last two, the two of these gammas, I'll try to put the gammas on screen. I have no idea what they are, but they're in the pump matrix, so they probably add pump. Now we have uh, another matrix, which is more of the the, it says power, strength, and endurance matrix. Beta alanine, now beta alanine, some people like it, some people don't like it. It gives you that pre-workout tingle. Like I was saying, this is like a pre-workout and a post-workout all in one. It's gonna give you insane pumps, but it's also gonna give you some of the recovery of protein, which is pretty impressive. Creatine magnesium chelate, so another version of creatine, and I like magnesium, I like that it's blended there. Another version of beta alanine, so we have two versions of beta alanine here. And then glycine. Now glycine, from my understanding, I think it like puts more water in your brain. It's just overall very good. It's good for pumps. It puts more water in your, your muscles and in your brain from my understanding. So it's just overall good. Then the last thing they got on here is caffeine and hydrous and L-tyrosine. Now apparently it contains 200 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. 
but then it only has 204 milligrams in the matrix with L-tyrosine. So did you put four milligrams of L-tyrosine in here? That's not gonna do anything. But the caffeine anhydrase, along with the beta alanine and uh, the citrulline, that's what's gonna give you the pump. I looked on, on Amazon and people say that they kind of have stuck with this product for years and years and years. Um, one of the only downsides is it's only got 20 scoops and I think it's about $35. So that's like mm, almost $2 a scoop, but at the same time for everything that you get in here, it's pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, I've really, really enjoyed this product. If it was like 25 bucks, 30 bucks, I would definitely pick it up all the time. But I also see why it is so expensive. I mean, you could probably cut out half these ingredients and it still would be really popular, still would be very, very effective. And Never seen a product like this. I actually really, really enjoy it. What's your go-to pre-workout? What's your go-to post-workout? I'll be very interested to see. I really, really enjoyed this stuff. Some people say that um, the taste wasn't that good. This one had the watermelon taste. And again, uh, I got this one for super cheap. So it might've been like the worst flavor. I don't know. I'm almost down to the bottom. And don't be afraid either if it's a little clumpy because I bought this saying that it was clumpy. So I got it for cheaper. Take a look at this scooper. Holy crap, dude. This is a 20 gram scooper. Most uh, pre-workouts is about like a six to a seven gram scooper. This one's a 20, big ass scoop, so. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Shotgun 5X. Let me know what your favorite pre-workouts are. I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. help. you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.